generational trauma and its impact on you. So where do we begin with this one? Well, let's start with generational. So what do we mean by generational? So what we mean by generational is that we're looking at multiple layers within a structure. So you can have yourself, you could then have a parent, you could then have a great grandparent, a grandparent, and that then becomes your known structure. And by known structure, it's those people who are part of or have been part of your life during your existence. So what we then have is a secondary layer of that, which then becomes ancestral. And what we mean then by ancestral is that this is anybody who would have existed prior to you knowing about them. So let's say, for instance, you have your parent, you have your grandparent, but you never met your great grandparent. Well, in some instances, the great grandparent would become generational. And in other instances, you'd then have a structure where they become ancestral. And what we then have to do is we have to have a look at these patterns and behaviors and where they come from. Because ultimately, when we have a look at generational trauma and its impact on you, we have to know where it came from and whose it was and why it existed in the first place in order to get ourselves to a mental configuration perspective whereby we can understand a bit about who we are based on the conditioning, the patterns and behaviors that we've had to manage and deal with up until the point of obviously doing the work. And when we have a look back and we have a look at these patterns and behaviors, it's not straightforward. And the reason it's not straightforward is because when we have generational trauma, you have trauma interacting with trauma. And therefore, somebody's actual interpretation of that trauma then creates another interpretation of that interpretation of that very same trauma. So whereas the underlying cause might be the same and the trauma of the very original event would have been perfectly valid, if that person hasn't gone back and dealt with it, then what we have is we have a position whereby that person hasn't dealt with it and because they haven't got rid of it from the line, what's then happened is they've lived their life based on that trauma. And based on that trauma, everybody then that subsequently interacts with them will have to interact not with a place of being there from the original, but from a place of the secondary stage. And that secondary stage will then become where the coping mechanisms and the survival adaptations come into play. And these coping mechanisms and survival adaptations, while they will serve you in terms of being able to manage and cope, what they won't actually do is they won't take you away from the line of trauma. And that's what we're looking at. Because when it impacts you, we then have the impact on yourself, but you then become part of the generational trauma. Because if you then haven't dealt with your ways of dealing with things and your coping mechanisms and survival adaptations, then what happens is we then interact with others from the place of having interacted with those who also haven't dealt with their trauma. And because they also haven't dealt with their trauma, we then have to get to a point where we do our work and our healing so that we then don't become the linchpin between those that come after us. And therefore we don't become the generational trauma and we also don't become the ancestral part of the trauma. So trauma, as I've just adhered to, does actually go both ways. It's those that came before us and it got passed down. And we've also got the fact that we have those that are after us that are yet to come into play. And if we don't then stop this flow and we don't then get involved in doing the healing work to do as such, then what will happen is subsequently it will get passed on and passed on and passed on. And that's the one thing that we as individuals that are looking to do the healing work need to get into our minds and it needs to become a way of being and a way of doing so that ultimately we can start getting the benefits rather than living off the survival but as always until next time trust the process and it's bye for now